Hi, so today I want to talk about cotter pins. Um, these are the little things that you create on the side of a finished stained glass panel. Mine is zinc framed um, so that you can hang them. So here's the window that I've been working on. It is lead came. It's all been lead camed, puttied. I put the zinc frame around it. Um, so now I just want to hang it. So let's get started. So the first thing is um, I used uh, tin copper. This is a 14 gauge um, tin copper that comes on a little spool. And I'll just cut two pieces of it. Just to get started. So um, I make my own cotter pins. Then I can gauge size. This is a jewelry tool, I guess, by Beadsmith. Um, it allows me to to put the copper wire in it, and then basically twist it so I get a nice round edge to it or curve to it, right? I just kind of twist it around like that. But just so I get the loop right. And then I kind of do this just by hand. Um, but I'll take my tool here. Describe what I'm doing here. It ends here. So that at the end of the day, I can have a nice cotter pin. Some people like them really snug. Nice bend to them, like that. So, there's one. So, wrap it around. Straighten these up. And then cut them to be the same distance. So you can play with these a little bit, get them to be generally the same shape. Okay, so let's go on to soldering these on. So here's the cotter pin, here's the top of my zinc frame. I've, I've um, still wooled this joint so it's clean. And now I have my cotter pin. Ideally, if the design of the, the lead window will allow, you wanna put this at a joint. Um, it allows just strength, but this design does not allow that, unfortunately. So what I like to do is put a little bit of just masking tape just to hold my cotter pin of where I want it. Um, just so I can tack the cotter pin um, with obviously some, <clears throat> I use uh, paste flux this is the paste flux that I use. Um, it's no corrode, regular paste flux. I just take a little bit of that and just put some on where the cotter pin, where I want it to join there. And then 
This is just normal solder, my soldering iron's hot. Take just a little bit and it's kind of awkward for me because my camera's in the way, Let's do it this way. Um, take a little bit and just kind of tack it to the zinc. And zinc always takes a little bit more time. And lead cane. So you see I tacked it. And um, now I can continue paste flexing it. Because it's, it's on there um, now. And then I'll clean my soldering iron here. And then just to finish it up. Yeah.